Collaboration and interdisciplinarity are the core values at Kermit. We aim to foster creativity in both arts and science. Being able to cross disciplines is crucial. Different departments, different universities, different types of knowledge together. The center is bringing together people who share this common passion for music and sound, but each approach it with their different perspectives. I came from engineering, but I'm also working in art, which is really kind of the core of the mission of the Kermit. Blending computer science, musical performance, cognition, experimental psychology. The interdisciplinarity in Kermit is not only in the name, it's, it's actually in the DNA of Kermit. It's, it's essential to Kermit. In that sense, the center is a lot more than the sum of its individual members, but really the collective exploration. What we're looking at in the research project is to understand a bit better where we are looking as performers while we are performing. My name is Fabrice Marandola, and I'm the director of the Center for Interdisciplinary Research in Music, Media and Technology, known as Kermit. Kermit provides a cutting-edge environment for integrated studies of music, acoustics, cognitive science, engineering, digital media, and performance sciences. We study how music is created, performed, recorded, transmitted and received, as well as its interaction with vision and haptics. Members of Kermit belong to one of the four research axes, which are instrument, devices and systems, music information research, cognition, perception and movement, and expanded musical practice. But in fact, most researchers are interested in way more than one research axis. We have eight laboratories, we have a semi-anechoic chamber, a critical listening room for very specific listening tasks, we have two labs with motion capture equipment, we have a setup in one lab for audiovisual research and creation, and we have another lab which is mostly dedicated to cognitive science. And our two newest laboratories are the MMR, Multimedia Room, and Pearl. The MMR is a four stories high, huge box within a box, which is a laboratory, but is also a concert hall. One of my research projects, or we can say axis, is really about 3D audio. So what I mean is to put sound in space using many speakers. In the MMR, we have a spherical microphone array to capture the sound from all directions. And we can use a computer to actually visualize where sound is coming from. The MMR is a meta laboratory. It's a laboratory that can become different laboratories. It was not designed to be a listening space or a concert hall or a research lab or a recording studio. It's, it's something that should do all of this. The design goal of the MMR was to have a room as flexible as possible in terms of acoustics and in terms of putting extra research and measurement tools. We wanted the room to be as uh, wide as possible in terms of reverberation. We can vary the acoustics both physically with uh, banners that can uh, cover the walls. We can raise the banner up and down to change the reverberation time of the room. We can deploy curtains all around. On top of that, we have the possibility of extending the reverb with an electronic system. The way this system works is by picking up the sound with 26 microphones and diffusing that on the 64 loudspeakers we have to create an artificial reverberation. With that, we can extend the natural reverberation of the room to a cathedral if we want, and we can also simulate wall reflections. That allows us to completely shape the room to accommodate the needs of musicians or researchers. It's really kind of an instrument. You know, the room is kind of a meta instrument. It will clearly influence the way I play or the way I compose. So it's really a laboratory for composers and creators. As a performer, working in the MMR is absolutely incredible. The quality of the sound is so perfect. You can work really on every detail of your sound and you know that everyone will hear it, which is both 
super satisfying and very scary. This room allows us to do large-scale experiments. So for instance, in the Kerbit Labs, we can do experiments with quartets, with trios, with maybe six people playing together. Here, we can have the full orchestra. I'll ask you to pick up a specific colored tape. If you understand me, go get the tape from the floor. If you don't understand me, stay where you are. My research revolves around advanced intraoral technologies, or what we call hearables. One of my research projects is to model how we speak in various noise conditions, as well as a function of distance, how close someone is to me or how far away they are from me. Having a room like the MMR to do this type of research is very important. Not only can I change the type of environment I'm in, for example, by changing the reverberance of the room, mimicking different work settings that I may have, I have a large enough space where I could really have small distances as well as extremely large distances and still have the same experimental conditions regardless of the day. Our performance research lab consists in a dome of 37 speakers and four subs and creates an immersive environment to recreate uh, some environment that would come, for example, from the outside. I'm Catherine Guastavino. I'm a cognitive scientist. My research focuses on how we make sense of sounds around us, how we rely on sound to interact with our environment. We do a lot of back and forth between the actual outdoor spaces and the lab. We typically do sound level measurements with sound level meters, and then we also do spatial audio recording, so typically using ambisonics, and then we will be adding different compositions on top of it. Another project that we're working on is called Sound in Space, and we're looking at spatial hearing mechanisms. This room is ideally suited because we have um, an acoustically treated environment with this dome of 37 speakers, so we can really position sounds all around the listeners, control the trajectories, control the velocities, so that we can identify the cues that people rely on to determine where the sound is coming from and where it's going. Pretty much everything from the, the recording to the distribution to the way we listen to and even the way we learn to perform these days involves a lot of technology. It's important to understand that technology is only a tool. Technology is not the goal. We are not here to replace what artists or musicians want to do musically or artistically. One of the main things about Kermit and the MMR is trying to understand and to even go further, using the technology as a partner, as something that allows you to go further on your musical expression. I love working at Kermit because not only do I have access to a lot of resources like rooms and equipment, but I also have access to a large network of people working in the same field as myself. If I want to describe Kermit in one word, it would be fascinating. I would describe Kermit as innovative and inspiring. Nusgierigheid, which means curiosity. Outstanding. Unico. Epoustouflant. Flabbergasting. It would be synergy. Interdisciplinary. Bijanin, which means uh, amazing. Kermit is about research, arts, and technology merging together. We discover new ways to study music and sound and media, but we also find new ways of creating music, sound and media. What we're trying to do is to create and understand the future of sound and the sound of the future. <laughs>